my name is Deja and today I'm going to be cleaning my bearings. I'm going to show you the process that I use to get my bearings nice and clean so I can get back on the road. First things first, how do you know when your bearings need to be cleaned? Well, if you're skating and you're hearing a crunchy or grindy sound that you didn't hear before, it might be because your bearings need to be cleaned. Or if you're able to look at them and you're able to visibly see a layer of muck or disgustingness, then just go ahead and err to the side of caution and get them clean. Pro tip, if you don't know how to remove your bearings, a really easy way is just to use your skate tool to remove the wheel from your skate. And you're gonna have bearings on both sides. Go ahead and place the wheel just a little bit of the way onto the post, and then you'll pull back towards you, and it'll go ahead and it'll pop it off. So if you're having trouble, just give that a try. It makes it nice and easy. And then when you're ready to go ahead and put them back in, all you're gonna do is go ahead and push down to get them nice and secure. One thing to note is some bearings will be completely encased. And so what you're going to have to do is you're gonna to have to use something pointy. <laughs> I'm just using this bimbo popper. You can use an earring, a needle, anything like that. And you're just going to remove that plastic covering. Once you remove this plastic piece, you'll actually be able to see inside of the bearing and you want to make sure that you get in there when you're lubing it up as well as when you're cleaning it. What you're going to need to clean your bearings is just, I use some basic orange degreaser. Like you can get this from anywhere, Home Depot, Lowe's, any store that's going to sell cleaning products should sell a degreaser. I got this from Amazon and it's actually used to clean the grease and muck off of car wheels. So I figured if it works well for a car wheel, then it's going to work just fine for my bearings. You want to make sure that you're not using anything that has water in it because water can rust your bearing so just rock with some quick easy degreaser i'll put the link in my bio just to make your life that much more simple then you're gonna need some lube so we all know why we need lube your bearings are exactly the same the last thing you want is to clean up your bearings and then not lube them up and then you just go out there and you're running on dry bearings that can that can damage it as well so this is some bone speed cream skate bearing lubricant i'll also drop this link in there that we're going to use after we're finished cleaning i also have this cool little gadget and what this is is it's just a container that has a stem that allows me to go ahead and just pop the bearings onto here so you can only do eight at a time it also has a separator a spacer in here so that the liquid is actually able to get in between the bearings so you just go ahead and pop those onto there and then you just put on the little end cap once the end cap is on you're able to just go ahead and I already cleaned my bearings so <laughs> yeah once the end cap is on you just go ahead and pop it inside of here put a little bit of the liquid in there and just shake it off. It makes it super fast. All you're doing is shaking all of it off. Once your bearings are all cleaned, I like to pat them dry to get out any excess, but then just go ahead and make sure to let them air dry fully. And then once they're finished air drying, I just go ahead and add a couple drops of lube, you know, two to three drops. Make sure that it runs nice and smoothly. That's going to be enough. So that is it, guys. That is how I clean my bearings. Nice and simple. All you need are just a couple ingredients and that'll make sure that you're back on the road and you are going. You wanna make sure you take care of your skates because I mean, these babies can last a long time. We put a lot of miles on them, so. Hopefully you guys find this helpful. I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Just go ahead and we're, we're going to cut all of that out. Cut that out. Um.